What's up guys, Dave Nader 1, 2, and 2, and it's, um... It's list day. Ah uh, yes, list day, and uh, today we're going to be continuing our look at the top 10 best cards of every main set of the game, and we're at New Challengers. Poor little New Challengers, kind of in the shadow of Duelist Alliance as just the set that's right after. However, there is some important cards in this set that did round out our Duelist Alliance format. I guess right now would be a great time to also uh, just give a shout out to Secret Forces. Um, it was a deck builder set that came out at this time as well. Uh, right here in this duel, it's, it's what gave us Necroz. But we are not doing deck builder sets in this series. Uh, if we're going to be looking at the series as a, a talk of the I know, history of the game and how the format has changed over time, uh, normally main sets are great ways of doing this. But every once in a while, the deck builders actually have stuff in it that you care about. Most of the time, no. Most of the time, it's three bad decks. But hey, you know what? Sometimes it's Necroz. But anyway, without further ado, let's talk about the new challengers. Number 10, Virgil, Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. Uh, Amanda, like I said in the last video, helps me with my lists because of the Carpal Tunnel. When she brought up Virgil the first time, she goes, wow, how have we not cosplayed this one yet? <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, yeah, Vir Virgil's pretty awesome. What do? Level six Synchro Monster, made of one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. It's generic. You can only control one Virgil, Rockstar of the Burning Abyss. Once per turn, you can discard one Burning Abyss monster from your hand in the graveyard to target one of your opponent's monsters on their field or in their graveyard and shuffle that back into the deck. If this card is destroyed by battle or card effect, draw one card. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. Okay, it'd be cool if Virgil was a quick effect, but he is non-destruction card removal from the graveyard or the field. That's pretty neat. It has utility in... Uh, Mirror matches against Shadals at this time, against all of, what is it, St St Teller Knights at this time because of Graveyard. You don't want stuff to float when it hits the Graveyard. There's a, there's a, this has some serious utility, especially in the format in which it came out. And the fact that it replaces at least one of its materials when it dies is just a good, uh, receipt, a little discount cash back on that loss of card advantage. Um, yeah, it's a surprise that this deck is still really, really good. Uh, and versatile because it's just so clean. The card design is so, so clean. Rescue Hamster. Oh, wow. I can't wait to talk about a pendulum card. Level four Earth Beast Pendulum Monster. What do? Pendulum scale five. Cool. 300 attack, 100 defense. Pendulum effect. You can banish this card from your pendulum zone to add two face up pendulum monsters from your extra deck to your hand. And it's monster effect. If this card was normal summoned this turn and you have a level five or lower face-up monster in your extra deck, you can tribute this card, choose one of those level five or lower face-up pendulum monsters in your extra deck, and then summon two copies of it with the same name from your deck, like the rescue monsters tend to do. And like Rescue Cat, their effects are negated and they blow up during the end phase, but who cares, you're gonna make Electromite with them. <laughs> or if it's, if it's Master Duel, I guess. The rescue monsters are all, uh, they're just all plus ones. It's just what they do. They, they rescue you, I guess, because you top deck them and they're good. This one isn't bad. I, it, it, it requires you to have three copies in your deck and only one of them is currently an extra deck. That's a bit clunky. Probably why I didn't see a ton of play, but uh, in the right deck, it, it would actually have some decent utility. And um, the fact that you can get two of the guys out of your extra deck actually probably has more utility now because of Master Rule 5. You know what? Cool. Rescue hamster. Number eight is Edgimp Sabers. Ooh! Level three Dark Fiend. 1200 attack, 800 defense. What exactly is Edgimp Sabers? I can't quite tell. It has been so heavily, he heavily censored. Don't ask! I don't know. It's, it's not sharp though. It's not dangerous. Censor! I think it's supposed to be scissors. <laughs> no, it's not! It's not scissors! It's not! If this card is in your graveyard, you can place one card from your hand to the top of your deck and then special summon this card. In the face position. You can only use this effect once per turn. Okay, this card's great. It's a dark monster. It's a level three. Ooh, synergy with other stuff even on this list. Top decking a thing to special summon is kind of lame, but the fact that you can just kind of just do this every turn is extremely versatile. That makes this card good in decks that aren't just fright for fluffles. This is good in, I don't know, monarchs for Pete's sake because it's just so free. And as a Dark Fiend, getting it in the graveyard is really not a problem. That's, frankly, it's that's barely an inconvenience. It's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? So yeah, it's a good card. It's good in its own deck, it's good in other decks. What more could you want? It to not be censored, I guess. That would be nice. 
All right, number seven is Herald of Arc Light. Ooh, I, I used this one. <laughs> Level four, light fairy monster, Synchro. Made of one tuner and one or more non-tuner monsters. What do? Any monster sent from the main deck or hand to the graveyard is banished instead. When a spell, trap, or monster effect is activated, you contribute this card, negate that activation, and if you do, destroy that card. Also, if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one ritual monster or ritual spell from your deck to your hand. Okay, so that's a lot to unpack. First effect, it's a pseudo macro cosmos for cards getting sent from the hand or the main deck. So if your opponent's trying to foolish burial shit, yeah, screw them. So that's pretty solid. That's That alone is a good little floodgate effect. But it also has an Omni Negate. It tributes itself, so you only get one good use out of the card, but an Omni Gate on a Synchro Monster, that's still relevant today. Uh, Savage Dragon does this kind of thing. That's good. It's also level four, so like that's actually interesting because it's probably the best level four Synchro Monster by like a wide margin. That third effect when this card is sent to the graveyard, like if you use its Negate effect, you can get a Ritual Monster or Ritual Spell from your deck to replace it. That's good card advantage. The weirdest part about this though is why is a Synchro monster getting ritual stuff. That's, uh, weird. Not only does this get its effect when you use its negate, it gets its effect if you get to the graveyard in any way, shape, or form. So if you can, like, mill it out of your extra deck to the graveyard with something like, I don't know, Necroz Unicorn Summon, you can give, give, give free stuff. Or, on the other side of the coin, uh, if you're playing with something like Melfi's and you make this thing with Hop Air Squadron, you get the negate, and then you can get that, that that dragon ritual thing that does a hand trap. That's kind of neat. So either way, this card's really versatile and actually quite good. <laughs> I like this card. Number six, Yazzie, Evil of the Yang Sing. Level seven Dark Worm Monster, 2600 attack, 2100 defense. What do? One tuner plus one or more non-tuner monsters. This one's actually generic, unlike the other one. <laughs> Baxia? I got it mixed up, all right? Screw you guys, I can't read my own script. Your opponent cannot target this card on the field with effects. Ooh. You can only use each of these effects once per turn. Effecto uno. You can target one Yang Zing monster and one monster your opponent controls. Blow them both up, just <laughs> Destroy them. Effect two. When this card you control is destroyed by battle or card effect, and sent to the graveyard, you can special summon one Worm Monster from your deck in defense position. Oh, so I can blow it up with its own effect and then summon something. And the way the first effect is worded, the second effect doesn't miss timing. It's almost like that's what you're supposed to do with it. Not necessarily, but but certainly that's the idea. Okay, so it's a cool, better than Scrap Dragon, Scrap Dragon, and it gets a Worm Monster out of your deck, probably Mare Mare. Because Mare Mare can make uh, that thrice per turn play and increase your card advantage. It actually says thrice. <laughs> it's like one of the few cards that says thrice. So yeah, it, it lets you blow something up. Uh, it lets you extend into a different wombo combo. Yeah, this card's good. Number five, Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. Rank four Dark Dragon Monster with 2,500 attack, 2,000 defense. What do? Made of two level four monsters. It's generic. You can detach two materials from this card. Target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Its attack becomes half of its current attack and this thing gains that lost attack. Okay, so it's just a beat stick. Why is that good? It's the cover card of the set, we can't ignore it. Okay, yeah, I guess, but more importantly, it can have more than 2,500 attack power. I, I can't stress to you guys enough. If you didn't play in these this late XC, early pendulum era, I, you wouldn't understand. You, you wouldn't understand, man. If you were playing a pure XC deck, getting over something with 2500 attack was a pain in the freaking ass. You had like Gem Knight Pearl and that was it. Holy crap. So this thing was novel because it'll let you get over beat sticks uh, and it let you get over them really well because it also, it didn't just get its own attack up above 2500. It also lowered something else. So it, it actually had a function until we got lightning, and then this thing stopped mattering. But for a small part, small period of time, this this was good. All right, number four, Satella Night Trooper. What do? Rank four Light Warrior Monster, 2100 attack, 2500 defense, made of three level four Satellar Knight monsters. That's not generic. That's also not a problem <laughs> for Satellar Knight, certainly. During the turn you XC summon this card, you cannot special summon except uh, Satellar Knight monsters. If this card is XC summoned, return all other cards on the field to the hand. Whew! 
Ooh, that's a big board wipe. That doesn't target, that doesn't destroy on an inherent summon. Traver. Man, this card was a pain in the freaking ass. I don't remember what I was playing, but I remember at a turn I was like, Trevor me, come on, I'm here, Trevor me. Also, you can detach one material from this card to send one card from your opponent's hand to the graveyard. Not only does it bounce everything on their field, uh, it knocks a card out of their hand. It rips a card away. What a dick this thing is. <laughs> and if this thing is sent from the field to the graveyard while it has a, a material on it, you can target its Teller Knight monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You summon Altair, right? Altair, because then Altair summons another one. Basically, you summon the guy that gets the other guys, so it's like you didn't lose anything. It's a it's, it's it's such a dick. I hate this thing. But I also love it because when I play Esmice, it's very good. <laughs> this card's fantastic. <laughs> All right, uh, number three, here we go. Do you want to spark fear in your fellow paleo player? In your back row chain burn deck? Denko Seka. This little lady sparks terror in every trap player's soul at the very marrow of their bones. I remember playing like frogs or some shit and my opponent summons a Denko Seka and you check your back row you're like do I got a Solemn Warning back here and you don't see a Solemn Warning back there and you're like okay well maybe just maybe if I look at it again it'll just appear kind of like when there's nothing in the fridge and you close it and open it again <laughs> it's still not there son of a bitch while you control no set speller traps neither player can set speller traps or activate set speller traps holy <laughs> this thing is such a dick holy crap she's she's something special I, I can't tell if i love this card or hate this card because holy crap she's ruined <laughs> she's ruined so many so many tournaments for me you hate to see it number two el shadal fusion Quick play spell card. Fusion summon one Shadal fusion monster from your extra deck using materials from your hand or field. You can only activate one of these per turn. It's just polymerization for Shadals. But it's a quick play spell card. That's the important part. Because that means during your opponent's turn, you can just flip this up and drop a window on them. It's not fun. No part of this is fun. But not only that, like during a battle phase, you can do like the, the masked hero type gimmick where you attack with one thing, El Shadal Fusion, make something else, attack with that, hit them for game. This is pretty versatile, like any other quick play spell card is, but it's a quick play spell card that performs a fusion summon. So it's actually quite good. That is um, the long and short. All right, the honorable mention is your boy Zaborg. It's Zaboy, <laughs> the Mega Monarch. Level eight Thunder Monster. Ooh, Thunder. 2800 attack, 1000 defense. It's a Monarch. You can tribute summon this monster by tributing one tribute summon monster. <laughs> it's a real sentence. Are you having a stroke? If this card was tribute summon, you can destroy one monster on the field. If that monster was a light monster, like itself, both players send as many monsters from their extra deck as possible up to, but not anymore, the original level of the light monster you blew up. So if you blew up himself, we both have to send eight monsters from our extra decks to the graveyard. <laughs> Rest in peace, the TG players. <laughs> but wait, there's more. If the monster you tributed to tribute summon this thing was a light itself, uh, you get a bonus effect where you get to pick the stuff you dump out of your opponent's extra deck. Eight is a lot, so it's probably fine if you don't get to pick, because it's it's more most of their extra deck anyway. But like, just in case, ooh, you get to pick. All right, dishonorable mention, uh, UA midfielder, because this deck sucks. <laughs> EMOTIONAL DAMAGE! I love this deck so much. It's it's actually not so bad anymore. The, the, the main support made it, like, alright. Uh, or rather, a uh, new support made it alright. Um, no. Real, uh, real dishonorable mention, uh, Misjudge. Number one on the list for fun pun name. Dishonorable mention on the list for a cheesy gamble effect. Level 4 Light Fiend Monster, 1800 attack. At least it's a beat stick. 600 defense, what do? If your opponent activates a card effect, before resolving that effect, Toss a coin twice. Toss a coin for your wizard. 
I hope I get lucky. Let's hope I get lucky, man. If the result is heads twice, both heads, negate that effect. Okay, this is really, uh, this is bad. The, the likelihood of you negating that effect is pretty low. So that, uh, that in and of itself is bad, but at least it's interesting because I don't think this chains to the to the effect you're negating. I think it just does it upon resolution. Like the mo the like you 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 activate they act they activate the effect. The, we we go back and forth with what our chains are doing, and then when everything goes backwards to resolve, when it gets to the thing that you want to negate, you you flip the two coins. You're, you're just like I guess it doesn't do anything now. That's that's at least a weird way of negating things. That's cool. It's bad. It's never gonna happen. But at least it's kind of neat. This this is a hard once per turn, and that's kind of bullshit. Like it should just be an omni negate. Like every every effect, just make your opponent work for it. Because like the likelihood of it going off is so low anyway. Who cares? Like we can't even have that. That would be cool, right? Come on, man. And number one best card in new challengers, Cleefort Scout. Cleefort Scout introduced in the set. They were like, you know, uh, the premier pendulum deck of our Duelist Alliance format. Uh, and Duelist Alliance gave us a good, two good XC decks, a good Synchro deck, uh, a good Fusion deck, uh, and then Necroz gave us a good Ritual deck. We needed a pendulum deck. Odd Eyes and Magicians and things were okay right now. Cleeforts were the first out of the deck. They're like, yeah will be the pendulum deck. We don't pendulum summon too much, <laughs> but we are pendulum monsters. We count. Level five earth machine, normal pendulum monster. 100 attack, 2800 defense. What do? Pendulum scale nine. You cannot special summon monsters except Klee monsters. Also, this effect cannot be negated. So I guess you can't turn it off so that you can special summon other stuff. I guess <laughs> they won't let you be cheeky. Once per turn, you can pay eight. Remember that? Pay eight. Pay eight hundred life points, add a Klee from your deck to your hand. Any Klee card you want. It's their search card and you do it on the pendulum scale, half of the card. Very cool. Monster effect? It has none. It has flavor text because it's a vanilla monster. Uh, it's 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 boot sequence because of lore. I like Cleefort.exe. <laughs> I think that's funny. <laughs> this card's pretty good. It's their consistency card. It's searchable by like uh, that one spell card. It's like why the deck was good because you could search this thing to then search everything else. It was just so easy. That's really all there is to it. The deck itself is great. It can run like every floodgate in the world. So uh, even if you turn off its own effects, like skill drain, for instance, just helps the deck because then they all get to be beat stakes. Uh, it's, I think, back to like almost full power, right? I would play it if I hated myself. <laughs> anyway, guys, that was the list. I hope you enjoyed it. New challengers. I, oh God, I remember pulling this set, man. That's crazy. Anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you guys next time. Uh, leave me in the comments below if you have a good idea for uh, a new fun list topic. I'm always in the market for them. And if you have a good one and we like it, you can go to the Discord and we can work on it. So remember guys, if you don't true to who will, I will see you guys next time.